Michael, good afternoon. Um, first of all, your reaction to the uh, Caribou Cup draw, please. First of all, I'm just delighted to be in the draw. I think it's um, the draw is the draw. You know, you get what you're given, and um, it's what's in front of us. We've been away um, every game so far, and, and, and we've we've got another away game, and, and it's one we look forward to. You know, we're we're happy to be involved in the competition at this stage. It's great to, to have the cup run and get that feeling of one, and, and there's a whole new challenge ahead for us, so we look forward to that. I mean, do you feel lucky given that you've avoided all the other teams who are from the Premier League? No, I think it's it's a case of judging what's ahead of us and respecting the game totally for what it is, and um, we know it's a, it's a whole new challenge. It'll be tough. Uh, it's, it's an opportunity for, for Paul Phil as, as well as it is for us. They'll see it as that, and so they should. Um, and it's about getting through to the next round, regardless of who's in the rest of the competition. It doesn't, at this stage, doesn't matter to us, you know, it's, it's what's ahead of us really and we'll approach the game like we have done all the rest and, and, and really look forward to it. But, I mean, I know the game's not till late, um, uh, later in December, but the reality is now that you are potentially one step away from a cup semi-final, so does your mindset uh, around this competition change, i.e., you know, you, you're going to have to take it really seriously now? It's a long way off. To be honest, this this game, it's, it's um, the one we're speaking about, it's a long way off. So uh, we're delighted to be in the draw, is what I'd say. Um, mindset hasn't gone to that game at all, really, in terms of being happy to be in this position. But it's, there's a lot to go on before now and then. And we'll, when, the closer we get, we'll, we'll, we'll get our heads on that. But um, firmly focused on pretty much, obviously, this week, this Saturday, and, and leading into the uh, international break. A word about your incredible fans. I mean, 1,300 there um, on Tuesday night, 1,500 going to Plymouth, all the way back down to the, the southwest. That is incredible backing. Honestly, it's unbelievable. I think, um, and we were at Norwich the week before and, and, and had an unbelievable following at Norwich the week before. So it's, it's, it's really the, the longest journeys you could get. So um, I've, I've said it many times, we, do, we don't take that for granted. I mean, that's such a big effort uh, not easy in, in, in current times and um, for those travelling there and back and there and back again um, we thank them an awful lot for those who stay down there hopefully they've had a nice few days and um, hopefully we can give them a performance that you know makes it worth worthwhile um, Tuesday night obviously for them was, was, was great and they enjoyed it and it was brilliant to share that at the end um, you know we're obviously we're trying to, to, to do that all over again but still thankful for the effort and we're just trying to repair that and hopefully they see that by what the boys are giving on the pitch. Uh, Tuesday not, night, um, Sir Morgan Rogers did uh, incredibly well. How good is it to see him emerge, uh, particularly as you know, you're, there's a lot of injuries in the squad at the moment? Fantastic. You know, we, we've obviously brought Morgan to the club because we're believing him. We would know what he's capable of doing, what potentially he's capable of doing. and. Um, He's a really exciting player and um, he's came here to learn and to develop and to to um, take the next step in his career and at the moment he's, he's doing fantastically well. He's had a big impact on us over over recent weeks, scored some big goals in the cup competition, scored a big goal against Birmingham. Um, really, really happy the way he's going. He's been patient, he's been um, training really well, training training really hard as, as a group of them have who are in a similar situation and, and, and it, in the end you get your rewards from it and um, he's, he's, he's doing really well Morgan and we always expect more and I think there's more to come from him I'm sure of that um, so we'll keep pushing him but he's, he's doing really well. And any new injury concerns after Tuesday night? Thankfully as I speak not any not anything new um, you know a few boys have played minutes that um, a lot of minutes that they hadn't um, and that they needed really so for them to come through the game yeah a little bit of fatigue and, and they'll recover well but in terms of uh, injuries we're in, we're, in, we're in as good shape as we were going into the game Looking ahead to the Plymouth game um, what kind of challenges do you think Plymouth will set you? They're a very dangerous team they've, they've had some really big results scored a lot of goals um, so yeah it's a, it's a tough place to go as I said the, the results show that um, and the amount of goals so we, we, we'll have to be really prepared for that and uh, it's a big challenge for us. It's a big challenge for us, but we, you know we look forward to it. We um, playing all right at, at, at this moment in time ourselves, and um, obviously winning football matches is a great feeling. That's the, that's the challenge, and, and but we know it's a tough one going down there. Uh, and I mean, obviously last uh, Saturday against Stoke was a setback. So how important it is is it to get back to winning ways, given that you are on the on the fringe of the, the playoff race, if you like, in that that area of the table. 
Yeah, it's it's not so much what happened last week. I think it's just what's next for us, and um, you know we've 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 had a decent run in over over the last six weeks or so, and um, it's a whole new challenge, you know, on, on on Saturday. So we've got two games before the international break, and we want to finish them strong. And um, you know, we, hopefully it was a blip. If it was a blip, it's not a blip. Whatever it was last week, it's about the next game, uh, and the boys are focused. You know, looking forward to it. As I, as I just said, we, we understand it's a tough game, but we're, you know the boys will be ready. Michael, thanks very much. Good luck. Michael, um, we've had mentioned already about the Port Vale draw in the next round. How much are you actually looking forward to that game? Obviously, no disrespect to Port Vale, but it is a huge opportunity for you to, to reach a semi-final. How much are you looking forward to it and the possibility of perhaps getting through? I will be looking forward to it. Yeah, at this stage, really, it's uh, we know the draw. We obviously make plans for that as the draw, but our, our mind kind of doesn't go too far ahead of that. It's it's a long way away, you know, and and how understandable you're asking me about it because you know the draw is just freshly made. And um, but really for us, it's that's that's further down the line. Um, it's an opportunity just because we're still in the competition, regardless of who we're playing. It's an opportunity. It was an opportunity on Tuesday. It'll be an opportunity when it comes around late December. Um, but it's equally an opportunity for them, you know. So they're in the competition because they deserve it. So it, it's not about taking them lightly or expecting anything different. It, it's, it's, um, we'll look forward to the game. That's what I'll say. Obviously, you had a very tricky start to the season when things weren't perhaps going as well, the results weren't going your way. How impressed have you been with your squad of players that you've managed to turn things around and on this you know, such good run at the moment? Yeah, I've been impressed, kind of what, what we expected. Um, you know we have we have got a good squad and I think the number of injuries and, and illnesses at times when we, we suffered and, and that we still suffering from um, would test the, test the squad um, and it has tested us but the boys have, have, have came through so far very very well and everyone's played their part and everyone's been ready when, when we've needed them and, and that's the beauty of having a good squad um, you know there's, there's some really really good players that we can't choose from at the moment um, but we've got some really good players that have, that have stepped up and, and, and give us different options. So um, I'm lucky that we've got that choice because um, it could easily not be there. Um, that's the beauty of having a good squad. So at the moment, yeah, we've got to keep pushing. We've got to keep getting better. We've got, we got things to, to improve on. But at the moment, the boys are doing really well. Just bridging on that, therefore, are you happy with the depth of your squad that you're able to compete both in the league and in the Cups so successfully? Yeah, the cup's the cup. I mean, it's only a few more games. It's not. It's not like we're we're uh, committed to play an extra 15, 20 games. You know, it's it's. Um, I think we can make more of that than actually is the case. You know, um, hopefully it's more than one more game, but it might be one more game. That's up to us to to do that. But certainly can't complain about playing extra football. That's that's what we want. And if you want to be successful, you have to do that. I know you touched it a fair bit there. The, the cup game is obviously excitement for the fans. I think there's eight league games between now and then. Is the kind of feeling, you know, there's the draw, let's park it now until until the game comes around. Yeah, I don't want to be a spoiler, but yeah, for, from our point of view, um, and that it's obviously not diminishing the cup when it comes around. We'll, we'll be hugely looking forward to it, and um, it's fantastic for the for the supporters, and that's why we take the cup um, and approach is so serious, and it means a lot to us because we understand what cup runs can bring to the supporters and the club in general. So, uh, but of course, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to go on, and, and quickly, obviously, as, as Saturday. So our minds, when we're in it, can't wander. Can't wander that much. We got to keep uh, keep the focus on, on on what's ahead for us. Yeah, obviously, the second half in midweek was good. Just looking at the table, in the, in the second half of games, if if there was a league table just on the second half, you'd be third. Why why do you think you're so strong in the second half of games? Um, good question. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been what now it's <laughs> um now nah, listen it's 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 good to know we we're capable of doing that um there's maybe different reasons for that how we play maybe the amount of possession maybe it's a case of wearing teams down whether it's a bit of game control whether it's okay we just become stronger as the game goes on there's a, there's a lot of reasons of course we want to start games better um we don't want to have to chase games and we want to be ahead and we want the first half to be just as good as, as the second half. So there's there's challenges in that. You take the positives, of course, uh, and what it probably does do is gives us belief, as last season and, and as as a group that whatever the circumstances, we feel that we're always in the game and that we're capable of, of um, 
scoring goals towards the end of the game. So, um, yeah, we'll take it as a positive. And, and is there a mental aspect to it as well? That physically there, as you're touching on maybe the way you play, the condition of the players. The Birmingham game, for example, where it might have been easy to panic and maybe lose away a little bit in the last 10, 15 minutes. Is there a mental aspect to sticking what you work on from the first minute right to the night? Yeah, I think there's two sides to it. I think there's the um, the mental side of, of, of the, and I talk about belief a lot and confidence, but there's you, you've got to keep believing in what you're doing. Um, and it's not um, it's not always easy to do that, as, especially if um, if it's a tight game, you know. But um, the boys, that side of things, have shown to get the rewards in the end, uh, to keep believing, keep trying the similar things and stick to the plan, if you like, and principles. Uh, but yeah, certainly the, the, the physical side as well, and the fit, and I, and I think a lot of it as well is, is um, and I've said it a lot again, is is the squad and the and, and the boys that are on the pitch finishing the game just as much as the boys starting the game which shows how important it can be whether the, that's change at half time whether that's change after an hour or 70 minutes and it, it's give us a real um, impetus in the game going towards the end of games and a real push um, boys coming off the bench and finishing the game well for us which I think makes a huge huge difference and, and just finally on that I know what you're going to say at this probably but do you take credit as well for what you're saying at half time to the players in games players win your football matches <laughs> Um, now nah, listen we try to give them the message we try to give them the positive message at times and, and we, we, we need to maybe give them other messages at other times but yeah, of course it's um, like, yeah, for me it comes down to that belief and in, 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 in being it and buying into it and being in together and, and, and the boys have been fantastic at that as I said whoever started whoever's finished the game um, and it really does make a huge difference Matt Crooks made his 100th appearance midweek he's played for three managers now and under every manager he's been each manager's talked about his importance on and off the pitch. What what is it about him as a character and as a player that makes him so key? Yeah, I think first and foremost, Crooks is a terrific player as well, and I think it's easy, to, you know, when you get talked about as a great character and great person, a great rounder group, it can kind of take away from the quality that you bring on the pitch, and it could be almost um, you know how, how how you kind of phrase it. But hopefully, you understand what I mean. You can almost be talking about that to hide kind of. Oh, he brings a lot of that, but not. But I think Crooksy brings both sides to it, and that's why he's so important around the group. He's an example how he trains every every single day, and the impact he has when he's on the pitch. You know, in terms of being such a threat, his work that he does for the team straight um, without the ball um, is really important for us. And 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 uh, in around the box, you know, he's he's threat and he's combination playing. Um, so he brings an awful lot to it. Being a stable character for me, it's a lot of it is about people as well, and and, and having good people around the place, good people and good players, and um, he goes about his business in the right way, and he's a great example for us. When he when he was moved up front, I remember him saying that you know, he didn't think he was a striker, and he was a bit taken aback, and then he'd go away and watch clips of centre forwards to try and master the role as much as he can. What obviously this year he's been playing a bit deeper. What's he done? in the summer or the pre-season or so far this season to, I know he's more comfortable or he says he's more comfortable playing in that deeper role, but what kind of has he done away from the glare of the camera to make to make himself a success in that position as well? I think it's just over time, he's probably, and, and, and Crooks is right where he says, he's probably naturally feels more comfortable and, and, and at home in, in that position. Um, I still thought he, he, he did have and, and could have moving forward uh, uh, um, an influence playing that little bit higher up because I think how he, how he is in and around the box he's really clever and got a natural instinct for for his timing and he's arriving in the right place in the right space at the right time and that's something that's difficult to kind of coach at times um, so he's got that naturally and um, but yeah you know obviously over his career and how he's developed he feels a little bit more comfortable playing deeper and I, and I get that and I, I understand that and um, yeah that's, uh, he certainly improved um, since I've been here, um, and it's all down to him. He's 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 been so so good around the place, so good in training, and, and he's getting the re his rewards for it now. And just finally, I know you asked about injuries there, but is anyone who's been out any closer to coming back? Not really, no.